Hello and welcome to the CCNP Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on troubleshooting voice and video. In this lesson, we will focus on troubleshooting Internet Protocol version 6. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to troubleshoot general IPv6 issues, troubleshoot IPv6 routing protocols, Explain troubleshooting considerations for IPv6 to and from IPv4 tunneling. Let us start our discussion with an understanding of Internet Protocol version 6. Two settings must be enabled to use IPv6 on a dual stack router. The IPv6 unicast routing setting is not enabled by default, while the IPv6 CEF setting is usually the default. Check the configuration to make sure both are enabled. Neighbor discovery is an important function that affects addressing, routing, and switching for IPv6. Use the command given on the slide if you suspect there are problems in those areas. In the next slide, let us review the IPv6 routing protocols. The IPv6 unicast routing command must be entered before enabling an IPv6 routing protocol such as RIPNG or OSPF v3. Otherwise, the message IPv6 routing not enabled will appear. Routing uses link local addresses for the next hop. This means the routing table includes link local as well as global unicast addresses. For IPv6 ping and traceroute, an interface is required for link local addresses. Add a percentage sign with the full designation of the interface to the link local address. EIGRP for IPv6 requires the No Shutdown command in the Router Configuration section. Otherwise, the EIGRP process will not start. In the next slide, let us continue our discussion on IPv6 routing protocols. 